hello dear students now in this video we will discuss about the second law of photochemistry okay so now this is photochemistry now second law of photochemistry or this second law of photochemistry is also known as because it was first propounded by stark stark and einstein so it is also known as e i n s t e i n so it is also known as stark einstein photochemical equivalence photo chemical equivalence law so this is the second law of photochemistry or it is also known as stark einstein photochemical equivalence law this law states that this law states that this law states that every atom or molecule that take part in a chemical reaction absorb one quantum of radiation to which substance is exposed so the statement of this law is that every atom or molecule every atom or molecule that take part in a chemical reaction that take part in a chemical reaction absorb absorbs one quantum one quantum of radiation to which the substance is exposed okay so it was about the statement of second law of photochemistry so my dear students suppose suppose i say suppose i say new this is new if nu is the frequency of nu is the frequency of absorbed radiation radiation nu is the frequency of absorbed radiation and e is the energy absorbed by absorbed by every atom or molecule so therefore e is directly proportional to nu or e is equal to small as into nu this is equation number 1 and now this h is known as planck constant p l a n c k s planck constant and the value of h is numerical value of h is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 27 arg second okay now i will tell you the uh, uh i will tell you the you know uh, planck's planck's hypothesis actually my dear students what happened that actually the energy the energy that we receive from sun comes in the forms of suppose we have the sun this is sun you know and we are here so the energy that comes from sun means the energy that we received from sun comes in the forms of bundles or packets these bundles or packets are called quanta q u a n t a quanta okay so if e is the energy that we absorb and this nu is the frequency of the light so 
the energy that we uh, absorb is E is directly proportional to nu and E equal to H nu and H is a Planck constant. Okay. Now, if suppose suppose we have one molecule. Suppose now further now further suppose I say suppose further I say uh, we have we have one mole one mole of reactants one mole of reactants or photons so in that case the value of e will be equal to so the value of e is equal to n h nu the value of e is equal to n capital n small h new equation number two equation number two when energy absorbed by one mole of reacting substance and is called Avogadro number this is Avogadro's Avogadro's number the value of n is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 mole inverse mole inverse okay but we know but we know that we know what we know that v equal to n lambda this is the velocity this n is the frequency lambda is the wavelength similarly this equation may be replaced by v by c is equal to n is the uh, frequency and means suppose it is new new is the frequency of light as i told you earlier and lambda is the wavelength so therefore new frequency will be c upon lambda this new is the frequency of light c this c is the velocity of light this is the velocity of light and this is the frequency of light c is the velocity this is frequency and lambda is the wavelength of light used okay so this is suppose equation number third now substituting the value of third new c upon lambda put three put three in one put three in one we get we get what we get e is equal to n h nu is c upon lambda so this is our required equation number four so this equation indicates that the energy absorbed by one quantum or the energy absorbed by uh, a reacting molecule is called one Einstein okay so what is one Einstein one Einstein is nothing one Einstein means the energy absorbed by one mole of uh, one mole of photon or the energy absorbed by one mole of reacting substance is called one Einstein so what this is very important important definition that what is one Einstein it is generally asked in your exam or in any competitive examination that define one Einstein so you have to uh, simply say that um, simply say that the energy the energy possessed the energy possessed by one mole of one mole of a photon or or the energy absorbed by one mole of one mole of reacting substances or molecule is called one n okay so this is the value of one n so one n is equal to e equal to n into h into c upon lambda okay now i will solve 
द वैल्यू ऑफ वन आइंस्टीन इट मे बी कैलकुलेटेड सिंपली बाई पुटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ एवोगेडो नंबर लाइन कॉन्स्टेंट वेलोसिटी ऑफ लाइट एंड वेव लेंथ सो दे आर फोर नाउ द न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू ऑफ वन एंड स्टीनिजी मे बी कैलकुलेटेड एज आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व ई इज इक्वल टू एन एच न्यू अपॉन लेमडा दिस इज न्यू दिस वॉज इक्वेशन नंबर आई थिंक इट वॉज वन टू थ्री फोर ओके एन एच न्यू अपॉन लेमडा सो दे आर फोर ई इज इक्वल टू वैल्यू ऑफ एन एच सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इन टू टेन टू दी पावर ट्वेंटी थ्री इन टू एच इज यू नो एच वैल्यू एच इज इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टू सिक्स इन टू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन और द सेकेंड दिस इज मोर यूनिवर्स नॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ न्यू दिस इज द नहीं दिस इज द नॉ सी और सॉरी सी द वैल्यू ऑफ सी इज थ्री पॉइंट जीरो इन टू टेन टू पावर एट सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड एंड दिस इज लेमना सो इफ यूल कैलकुलेट इट एंड सॉल्व इट इट विल बी बट बट वी मस्ट नो द वैल्यू ऑफ वन कैलोरी इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट वन एट फोर अर्ग ओके सो दे आर फोर वन अर्ग विल बी विल बी वन कैलोरी अपॉन फोर पॉइंट वन एट फोर ओके so now using all the uh, this using the value of this calories and r and the value of nsc this is in mole inverse this is in r the second and further this is in centimeter per second so if you calculate its value comes out as 2.86 into 10 to the power i think it is uh, uh, 2.6 Uh, two point two point eight six upon lambda. This is calorie per mole. Okay, but the value of lambda generally lambda is expressed in the value of lambda in this equation is in centimeter. So and generally uh, the value of wavelength is in expressed in angstrom. And one angstrom equal to ten to the power minus eight centimeter. so if you put this value over here you will get e is equal to 2.86 into 10 to the power 8 upon lambda calorie per mole now 10 to the power 8 this you can sum further may be written as 2.86 into 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 5 calorie per mole upon lambda Now, one kilo equal to ten to the power three, so E will be is equal to two point eight six uh, into ten to the power five. This is kilo, so kilo calorie per mole upon lambda. Okay, so this is the value of one Einstein. So hence, this equation five represents what? This equation of five represents the value of one Einstein, and the value of one Einstein equal to two point eight six into ten to the power five upon lambda kilo calorie per mole. Okay, and thus finally it might have been concluded that the energy possessed by one mole of reacting substances or one mole of photon is called one Einstein, and the value of one Einstein is this. This. Okay. Further. This equation gives that one Einstein is inversely proportional to the wavelength of radiation used because E is inversely proportional to lambda. So E is inversely proportional to one for lambda. Okay, thank you, my dear students. This is very important uh, laws of photochemistry. Okay, this. uh law of photochemistry is useful for msc third sem students as well as for psc students and other competitive examiners okay thanks a lot thank you very much